Three, stop playing with your hair. It's not. Two. Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dark, and I'm here with the lovely Bella. Hello. Welcome to Heat 101, guys. Indeed. Today we have four peppers, two of each color, a purple and a red. These are Buena Mulata. That's fancy. You can find seeds for this at Refining Fire Chili, so that's www.superhotchilies.com. Look at that, it's purple. That's just beautiful. Look at the, I love the little curve. It's super cute. That is so awesome. I love that it's purple. Very so, cool. The Buena Mulata, it comes to us because of the love of peppers by a, na a man named Horace Pippin. I love that name. Horace was an African-American folk artist who depicted the life and the struggles of his people during the early 19th century. He was known for sharing his seeds of peppers and spices with his friends. One of his friends was William Boyes Weaver's grandfather. Say that five times fast. I don't want it. <laughs> a decade after his grandfather's death, he discovered the seeds in a baby food jar in his grandmother's basement freezer. Talk about finding something and how do you even know what they are? You know? So William grew out those seeds and shared them with many people today. The Buena Mula pepper is a cayenne type with good medium heat level. It's a beautiful ornamental and can also be eaten. Color changes, ripening pink to violet. Yeah, these are really crazy. I've never seen a purple pepper before. I love the color. And I'm honored to have these. Yeah, these are Thank really cool. Thank you very cool. much, Jim. Let's give, let's start with the red one. Because red. the purple is the right. Yes. So we'll give the uh, left right one, which usually that's strange because normally the red means it's right. That's true. So that's kind of crazy. So this is like mid because yeah. it's pink to, I mean, red and then to purple. Right. So okay. Smells Ooh. peppery. It smells kind of, <laughs> smells kind of rosy. Does it? Yeah. I'm not picking up a lot of scent because of the way I cut it. I probably should have split it down the middle, but they're kind of thin, so I didn't want to do that this time. Don't sword fight me. <laughs> Ooh, you like you put it in your mouth. Uh -huh. Oh. There you go. Oh, wow. I just got a real kick to it. That's very... I packed so much. Very, very powerful flavor. Wow. Got some heat to it. The heat and the flavor are like so, like they work side really side. well together. Yeah, I like that. That's definitely fruity. Yeah. Definitely, I get a little citrusy, almost bellish. Almost, yeah. Not, I don't really have the bell, but I definitely have a note of citrus in there somewhere. Yeah. It has... The heat is nice. Yeah, pretty decent heat level on it. I like the heat. It's like um, it's like the, the burn that you get from like black pepper. Like yeah. If you bite into a black peppercorn, it's that kind of burn, I feel like. It's it is. Nice. You're right. Let's give that a heat level real quick, where we're sitting at right now. It's like still going. Ready? So, okay. We'll give it an initial reaction heat. Three, two, one, two. two. Mm. <sighs> <laughs> All right, let's go on to the purple. This is beautiful. And I really like doing them back to back like that because then you get the contrasting flavors. Look at in, look at inside yours. In mine, the flesh is white. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's purple on the outside and it's white on the inside. The meat on the inside is white. Yeah, not the flesh, the meat. You're right. Yeah. All right. It smells different. Really? That is such a powerful smell that it's coming, the one we just ate is coming out of my mouth like. Maybe that's what I'm smelling. It's overwhelming <laughs> everything right now, so <clears throat> I think the only way is going to be to taste it. Okay. Okay. I have that crunch. It's a milder flavor. Mm, sweeter. There's a greenness. Yes. Grassiness quality almost. Yeah. Actually, you, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Very green. That's Very the best good. way to put it. It's so interesting because you really wouldn't think that. Yeah, that does taste a little grassy. It does. It, you wouldn't think that though by the depth of the color. I you know. would think it would be 
more along the lines of maybe like a Pueblo chili or like like the deeper, richer flavor, but it's it's not, honestly. That would be like verdict. I'm almost getting like a melon. Yep. From this. I get it. You now get it's it in coming the after through. Yes, you get it on the aftertaste. So the green flavor has gone away and now it's melon, like quality. I'm just intrigued. It's like a honeydew or something. Yeah, you're right. That's exactly what it is, honeydew. Yeah. And the sweetness is there. Yep. And the heat. It hasn't taken the heat anywhere else. It's Same staying level. right there too. Yeah, it's it's still nice. It's still a nice burn. It's a burn. very good burn. It Sweet. is. Same type burn, don't you think? Yeah, I think somebody would be a little uh, a little shocked with this if they just fit into this and weren't, they would. weren't ready for this. They would, for sure. I think you're right. That's uh, But they're Excellent. so vastly different. It's they are. Cool. Very cool. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. You want seeds to these crazy looking purple peppers. And you do. And the red ones. Well, they're the same. But so different, but the same pepper. Go over to Super Hot Chilies, www.superhotchilies.com. He's got them on there. By the way, guys, grow them out. That's Try them for yourself. If this is your first time here, click on down there, hit that subscribe, become part of the Heat 101 family. Hope everybody has a fantastic day. Don't be afraid to get some heat going on.